Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> We're starting a bit of a trend. You guys are back again. You guys are back one more time and I'm excited to see you here. And I hope that you guys have been really tracking. First video was about background image. Second video was about two camera overlay. Third video was a custom lower thirds. And in this one, we're gonna be looking at custom banners. So let's get into it. Picking up right where we left off, this is our custom lower third from yesterday. And I am going to grab another element. Uh, this is the one that I really like, this guy right here. I know it's like really looks weird, but trust me on this one, it, it will work. So I'm gonna just size this down, but then pull it out a little bit. And and then from there, I can change the colors of the of the of the um, element itself. I kind of want it to be white. Um, and then we want the other color to be purple. That's how I usually do them. Just kind of like the, it's kind of matching our, our lower third there. And you can size this down with the, with the corner and then pull it out depending on what you need it to be. And I'm going to uh, do another T here. We got text and pull that out some and pull this onto our, our banner. You see how, how quickly we're getting to this part, man? This, this is it. So I'm going to, again, get this whole thing, change our text color, of course, to black, and that's gonna allow it to come up on screen a little bit. Um, we do need to adjust this up some. Let's get this, I'll have to adjust this up some so it's in the middle. And then I can just kind of put whatever I want on here, right? So I can, let me grab some text from over here, create a background image, right? There's one. Um, and so I can take that. Make sure we group it. Then copy it into uh, into place. So here, this is the scene that I've been using to to place my stuff because it is a picture from from StreamYard. So I'm going to put it right here in the corner. And while I think that that seems to work well, I do know that our our comments come in right below that as well. So I'm going to put this up a little bit higher so that it can just show up right underneath uh, the host video. So create a background image. That's done. So we'll say we copy that into our transparent um, piece here. We'll take this, we'll delete it. Copy that there. We know it's in the right space. We can actually get rid of this one. And so now we can just download this as transparent. And then we can select uh, page six, download that, that. So that's done. Next thing we wanna do, of course, is to make sure we have that copied into the one that we have been doing. So paste that there and we can download page two. Now we don't need to do anything with page two in terms of transparency. We're gonna do that in photo P in just a second. So let's dive back into photo P right now. So here again, file open. You guys are gonna know this better than anybody else pretty soon. Um, and then we have that. We wanna make sure we grab the wand, grab that piece there, hit delete, grab the wand, hit that, delete. We wanna actually export as PNG and save it. And once that comes down, we can head back over to StreamYard where I'm still there, I'm still in the space here. And again, we can upload our overlay, the one that we did here, see that, create a background image, let's upload that, we click open. And that is great, but you notice that that takes everything off of the screen, guys. That takes everything off of the screen. So we have our banner, custom banner, but we don't have our frames and we don't have our uh, uh, lower thirds. So the one that we did in 
photo p allows us to have all of the above and so you would just kind of toggle through those for the ones that you want to be able to show uh, for the different things you want to highlight on screen you can kind of click back and forth i love that nice and clean you have the different pieces here so that's it <laughs> another video done another one is in the books hoping that you're tracking with us uh, tune in for for the next video because the next video we're going to be looking at creating a countdown clock how it all works live stream graphics academy we have gone over four different videos so far tomorrow's video is going to be our last for this specific series and we're going to get started with our Streamyard academy and we're excited about that where we're going to go over several things pertaining to Streamyard. but tomorrow we're going to close out our, our live stream graphics academy with one more canva video looking at how we can create a countdown clock for our live streams. It's your boy, Kirk Nugent, the Geek Speaker Preacher, hoping that somewhere in this series, we've gotten you a little closer to figuring out how it all works. We'll see you in the next video.